high developers so in last part of our project we created a static list of products and uh, now we will make it dynamic through api so let's check out the steps of that part then we will jump on the code so firstly we will create a service function inside our service file so that we can call api there and after that we will uh, get this api data in our component we will make our uh, product list dynamic through ng for loop and at last we will check that everything is working fine or not all right so now let's move on the code and uh, i am just starting with the service function so let's go to the product service.ts and uh, create one more function there so let's say as you know that heading of uh, that list is trending products so i'm just making the same here trendy products and uh, there it could be uh, similar like uh, last one but we can just change the limit of uh, our products let's say now we are just want to fetch here uh, seven or eight data right it is fine so now you can ask a question like uh, and what is the difference between last uh, popular product api and trending product product api the just limit is the, the difference see uh, if we have a uh, back end service side programming language like uh, java python or php then we can create a uh, logic and we can actually uh, fetch the uh, most trendy product most popular most sale product and all but as you know we are using json server at a backend so we don't have uh, much flexibility to do that so we have a limitation only we can just uh, fetch out a uh, product with the limit or just uh, apply some filter right so that's why i'm just putting there eight products and uh, that will be properly a demonstration like how we can just uh, make a dynamic list and all right so this is uh, not related to the backend this is related to the front end that's why i think we can use that api again so after that let's uh, just call this api in our uh, home component.ts file and uh, one more thing we need to just need a property so that we can grab this data in that property so we can name put the name trendy products and by default it could be undefined and it could be a product array perfect so after that let's uh, just make a similar kind of uh, subscription like we just made with the product uh, popular product so just simply use here this dot product dot trendy product and as we know this is a uh, uh, observable so we can just subscribe it so and uh, one more thing we can just simply get this data through callback function data and uh, here we can assign this data to this dot trendy product products and now we get this data and we can use this data as a for loop in our uh, front end and we can replace this static content so let's try to replace it first so we don't need all of these uh, static data so just we need one product and we will uh, apply the loop over there so i am just deleting the other uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, static product i will just keep only one let me delete second one also and let's go for third one and here we go and now you can see that we have only uh, one product there all right still we have two okay so let me delete one more and here we go and now we can make it dynamic and so for that what we need to do let's simply put there uh, star ng for and we can say that let item of trendy products right and we can use this item and uh, there is a uh, other properties like price name description everything so uh, what we can do there we can just simply use their item dot image and you will find that image is dynamic now here you can see that we have seven products in database uh, you can check that in seller we have seven products right so after that uh, these are the seven product but uh, content uh, rather than uh, image is still static so let's make it dynamic also
item dot url not item dot uh, name is fine and uh, this similarly with the price what we can do that price after that uh, product dot color so item dot color will be fine there and now you will find that all details and all informations are uh, dynamic there like uh, price and uh, color color is also different and uh, name and all so that's all for this part and in next part we will just create a footer that will be a small video and after that we will jump on the searching of uh, our products right so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment box that will support me thank you guys thank you for watching this video